You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like those are the only type of people. Keep people around you that want to see you win and keep people around that you want to see win. And you and, and y'all will win. Thank you guys for joining us. Welcome. I am your host, Adrian Nice. Welcome to Mouth and Out. So today we have a power player in the industry <laughs> with us today. I'm gonna have you introduce yourself. Go ahead and tell me who you are. I'm King Carter. Dao King Carter. Um Charlotte, North Carolina, the west side of Charlotte to be exact. You know what I'm saying? So uh I just do a lot of work for God. That's all. You were born and raised in uh Charlotte? Yes, born and raised. You've been here. You done seen it all. I seen it all. I was in the Presbyterian was Hospital. Slow, slow. Presbyterian Hospital, December the third, nineteen. I don't want to tell y'all about, but that nineteen eighty three. Um, do you have siblings or anything like that? Oh yeah, of course. I got, I got. Um, I act like I'm the child. No, I'm just okay. asking. Right. Ask ask <laughs> yeah, I got, I got my sister, my um, my little sister with Asia. This is me and her were raised together, same house. Um, and then I have two other siblings, my, um, my brother Nigel and my sister Hassana. Uh, what was life like gr growing up for you? It was great. Like, 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 <clears throat> because it helped me to get where I'm at right now. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's filled with, like, you know, you have your struggles, you have your, you have your turmoil, but, like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 hey, like, I, I went... Like, I'm one of the people, I wouldn't change nothing because I know everything in every situation, you know, helps to find character. It and, happens and for a reason. It happens for a reason. I don't believe in coincidence. It's, 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 it's God's time, and it ain't my plan anyway. I'm just walking the path. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact, man. I mean, I know you was a rapper. When did you get into rapping? I started rapping when I was 11. Mm. And I started rapping. I used, to, I used to just love, like, music, so I used to, like, before, you know, you get lyrics and stuff on, like, YouTube and all of that. Yep. I used to listen to songs and dissect them and write the lyrics down just so I could know all the lyrics. Dang. So, like, I used to just sit there and write. And then my teacher, I was I was just rapping class. So, like, my form of social currency amongst my peers was how do, like, like, Knowing the words to the song before they, Everybody you know what I'm saying? Like, knowing, like, do you, How do you know the words already? Yeah, so, so, so that, <laughs> like, that was my form of like social currency. That was my cool, mm. my, my cool thing in like elementary, middle school. Yeah. But like, music is just, it's just been in me. My teacher sent me to ISS, which is in school suspension yeah. because I was rapping in class. And then she told me the only way I can get out is I, I got need to write a rap about why I'm rapping in her class. Mm. So I wrote, so my first rap I ever wrote. It's called Cause I Can Rap. Do you remember any other lyrics or anything like that? I do. It's give us, give us, a, <laughs> give us a couple bars, a couple bars. It's, it's, it's so corny, man. I don't that's, what I, that's what we want. <laughs> couple so, bars. So it was like, Cause I Can Rap, I sting you with this lyrical cap, with that zingy thingy, may I please do some steps to this, so please don't miss me, slow down, throw down, we might even have to scrap on this whole ground. Mm -hmm. So stop, look and listen. You really don't know what you are missing. You can get with this or you can get with that, but you better have your back because I am all of that. Okay. And that, that was that was like I was in a sixth or seventh grade. What were you calling yourself back then? Um, my first rap name was The Rocker. The Rocker. Yeah, okay. I took my my my, my name. It's crazy. I never told nobody this, but The Rocker. It was my first name is Dao, my middle name is Ramiz, and my last name is Carter. So it's D A R A C A. So it's The Rocker. Man, bro, you was thinking intensely back then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that played out. And that, that was my own thing. Yeah, because I was just like, like, like the, my, my, one of my ad libs was like, I was like, let's rock, let's rock. You know, I was just, the, I ran with the whole, the rocker thing. You know what I'm saying? So. If you were to look up King Carter in the dictionary, mm -hmm. what would your definition be? 
what would it read? Man of God. Yeah. When did you hop in the studio? Do you remember that? Yeah, first time I was in the studio, I signed to a, a, a label here in Charlotte, Alias Such Records. I was 15 years old. First time I got into a real studio, it was a studio called Reflections. Did you have like a, like homeboys where they rapping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I was rapping with my cousin, Prince, um, and we had a group called Young South. When I, before that, it was called Little Bugs. It was me, Prince, dude, uh, uh, a dude named Kojak, rest in peace. And, my, and um, my little bro, Bay Boy, and we was we was a group called Little Bugs, and we signed to Alias Such Records, which is it was a group that opened up the doors mm-hmm. for, for for Charlotte music called the Arsenal, and we was up under them. The Arsenal. Yeah, the Arsenal. It, like rest in peace, Av Avion. That's my big brother. Taught me a lot about music in the game. He died a couple of years ago, but you know, um, Av IQ. Over those, like them, them were my big brothers that helped me as a jit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Coming up. Coming up. What was your mentality back then? My like, you're an artist trying to get into the industry. Like, what? My, what is it? You know what's crazy? My mentality was I couldn't understand why everybody couldn't see how dope I was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so it, it was like, it was like, I understand now. Yeah. But, but in then, hindsight. At that, in hindsight, Prince was more of the star. He, not more. He was the star of the group. Uh, he was like the, he was like the Sway Lee, and I was like Slim Jim. Not to take no shots, but it was just the more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but I like it there now. The, the, the <laughs> more, the more standout. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um, guy in the group. And why do you think? And I, I know it because my 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 bashfulness. I wanted my music alone to speak to speak me. For, yeah. When. I didn't understand it's about everything. It's everything. A, everything when it comes to being an artist is about your personality. It's about your 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 image, the way you could like I, I went about image because I felt like I was always fly, but it was it was more or less like about <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, my fluid touched the ground. But uh <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I realize now that I didn't I was too humble to be a star. Mm. Like, so what you need to be more, I guess, confident or just like more. No, but the thing was, confident, I, I was confident. You gotta, you, I was confident in my in my skill set, but you gotta be, people you know. gotta be more confident in, in in the way that you display it, mm-hmm. and and That's making sure that that confidence like oozes out of you, but just enough where it don't come off as arrogant, <laughs> but <laughs> enough, you know what I'm saying, enough where. You can, like, somebody who's not as confident can say, oh, yeah, he's arrogant because they're not confident in himself, but another confident person is going to be like, oh, yeah, like. He's confident. He's, he, he's confident. You know what I'm saying? Because confidence ain't nothing but just you know what God got for you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then I I didn't realize that while I was in it, but I was a kid. I was still long, learning, still growing, you know. When did you uh, have Zach? I was 15. 15? Yeah. No, I, I just turned 16. I'm sorry. Just turned 16. I, 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 was, I had just turned 16. Me and Zay's birthday 20 days apart. Dang. Okay, so you do have Zay right. very young. Right. How are you thinking about, dang, my music career? Like, am I still going to, am I still trying to rap? Or are you more like going, okay, I got to get money up. I need to solidify my family type shit. Or so, both. Or like, did it change your mentality? Yeah, it changed my mentality. <laughs> it changed my mentality a lot. But. It didn't change my mentality as much as when, because I was so young. Me and Zay kind of like, we like yeah. grew up together kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zay, yeah, me yeah, and Zay yeah. have a, a different relationship than I think a lot of father-sons have. Um, like, Zay is like one of my best friends in the whole world. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's dope. Like, so, and, and it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And not only that, he's my favorite rapper in the world. So, yeah. um, but... Like my mentality, I was still, I was 15, 16 years old, bro. I was yeah, still, still I was still like on some hood mm-hmm. in the streets stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was, I was there being the dad. He was around, mm-hmm. um, but he was around seeing things that Everybody. he shouldn't have seen, <laughs> being in places that he shouldn't have been in. You know what I'm saying? And 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 there was a lot of things that 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 uh, you know. It was difficult, but it didn't. It never stopped my passion in it. If you, that's good. You said you signed with 
that label, right? Yeah, that, I signed with that label, whatever, mm-hmm. Alien Fest Records. Do you, what came from that? Do you feel like something came from you signing, or do you feel like... Yeah, I got it. I got it. I, I was I was sixteen, walking around with a platinum chain. Yeah, they got me. I I signed for a chain. They ain't getting no money. They gave me a chain. And, and they, got, they gave me a chain, a bracelet, and uh, and, and some clothes. Oh. But no, I I learned. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was it was definitely knowledge and doing things that I had never seen done before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like AV was was like, you know, rest in peace. He was like one of the godfathers of the city, especially at that time. He was like one of the biggest guys in the streets. Mm. So we was doing stuff like the Holiday Inn downtown. He was he rented the whole top floor out to Damn. shoot videos. Um, this was 50 Cent had just dropped um, How to Rob. He came, 50 Cent came, jumped in the video. It was yeah. like, like it was like, it was crazy. Like this first time That's I fire. seen like a real video production. Shout out to Clifton Bell and, um, um, and um, Get On Nerd. That's because they they the ones that, they the ones that Definitely did the, yeah get on there that, like that's that's how I know Cliff you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like Cliff is from he from Charlotte from great time but them boys they were shooting videos on 35 millimeter film I don't know if y'all know how because everything ain't digital yeah. now <laughs> but, but 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 when you was shooting video and you were shooting on 35 millimeter you was spending some money hell yeah <laughs> you hell was yeah. spending some money you know Mr Miami right yeah. So, look, one day I'm kicking it with Mr. Miami, and I was helping him edit some stuff, and so he was going through his footage, right. and then, lo and behold, guess who I see on there? I was on there? You was on there. Yeah. You was on there with uh, Numero 3. Yeah. Um, with Doug. Yeah, y'all were rapping together, right? Did y'all have, like, yeah, a little group? We, we, had, a, we, had, we had a group. So, my group, once Little Bug stopped, once a, once the whole Alien Such Records thing stopped, me and Prince kept going. Mm-hmm. Um. And we started a group. That's what started. That's what we called Young South. And it was me, Prince, and Doug, and um, with Numero Three, and that that was that. Did y'all do what? Did y'all stop rapping together? Was there falling out? <laughs> 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 All right. So, nah. It, you know what? Streets, mm. jail. Prince, Prince, Prince end up going to jail, um, and Doug end up. Not wanting to do the group thing no more. Dang. So so they kind of like, you know, it changed down there. Me and Prince still did the group thing. We ended up going, and, and we was dealing with Ski at that time. Like, um, so he was kind of keeping things together? Um, no, 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 no. I was keeping things together. Okay. No, I'm, <laughs> let me stop taking credit. God was keeping things together. <laughs> I, I always got to, because it's, it's never me. It's always God. So God was keeping things together. Whether he was using me as a vessel to do it or not, you know right. what I'm saying? It's up to, you know. Anybody perception of interpretation of it. So when did it when did the light switch switch where you were just like, I don't wanna do, you know, rap no more? So the first time it switched when I was in I was messing around the streets and I was in the I was in the club and I was doing stuff, I was making a lot of money and I was doing stuff that rappers was doing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, shit, bro, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Let me I'm gonna sign me some mix. I always looked up the Master P, you know what I'm saying? So, so like, 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 I'm like, shit, I'm gonna sign me some niggas. So I signed my whole hood, mm-hmm. and 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 I, <laughs> it's crazy, God. I ain't never told this story in an interview. I signed my whole hood, and <laughs> I put him in. I rented out a studio. Shout out to Arrow, Arrow Proof. He do training now, but he had a studio. He went to high school with me, and this, and, and he was like, hey, bro. You know, you do everything over here. I'm like, all right. I booked out a studio for three months. I three signed months. for three months. Three months from four from, from from four to ten for three months. Five days a week. Dang. So out of them three months, I got eleven songs out of eleven dude, out of eleven different artists. So each one of them had eleven? No. Oh, you're saying that's all you got for collectively. <laughs> Collectively, uh, I got a level, so I, okay. I realized niggas ain't taking it serious. So I'm like, I can rap, I can rap, I can still rap. Yeah. So like, and I and I and I and I was like, well, you know what? I'm I'm trying, I'm doing all this stuff for everybody else. I went and um, I ran into Fix, and I'm like, I follow like when I say I follow signs, I follow I, like I I was in the call Fix, and Fix was just like we were just hanging, mm-hmm. and he like he in you know he was started doing music, and he was doing a track for uh. But, uh, escape at the time, mm. and we he had took me with him to go meet 
um, Tiny and, 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 and all of them, and, you know, we, we was chopping it up. And when I, when I first got, and it's like, like prior to Tiny, they probably don't even remember me from this. You know what I'm saying? But, like, That's right. I got, yeah, because it's been, a, it's been a minute. It's like 07. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I said, I, in my head, I'm like, man, you got these connections. You got these plugs. And I can rap, man. Let's go, let's go to the let's the studio and start something. I put my money in myself. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, "All right," and we did it. And we came, and I and I that's when I established my name is King Carter because at that time I was going by Dao King of the Young G's. Um, and then I, that's when I established the name. Um, Why King Carter? Because because my name is Dao, which is David. Mm. My mama named me after King David. Mm. So she always used to call me her little king. So King Carter, and then and, and then I, well, I got that name from this guy named Cadillac Fats. He used to just call me Cotty G, Cotty G, because every time he see me, I used to be with like a hundred people. So he got, <laughs> and, 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 but but as the as the leader and the front runner of that, right. you know what I'm saying? But he used to be like, man, you the king of the young G's, and that's where that came from. He was like, you got all, you man. He was like, man, you can move. He used to he used to always compare me to like Malcolm X in the movie when they make the, 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 the the movies, movements. but yeah. but it wasn't there. It's just my brothers that love me. You know what I'm saying? In my hood, like like so when you ask me if I got siblings, I by blood I got some, but by 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 blood still, <laughs> you, the, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of I got a, I got a, I got a lot of siblings. Shout out to that's what, matter of fact that's what this is. I was about to ask that I saw, I saw it over there. Yeah, we we all for Fruit and Dry, man. X34. What about this hat? What what is this hat? The this hat? Hat. Hat. Oh, this hat? And we can go to the drawer. No, no, no. <laughs> it, 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 this hat is this dope ass brand okay. called Thank You for Buying Black. And this brand embodies everything that I wanna be a part of. And that's mm. and, and wanna be involved in. So it's a it's a it's a brand that's centered around black culture. And that's something that, that's something that me, Mike, and partner Dami, you know what I'm saying, are still working out the logistics on, but we we putting together like I'm full force behind this brand. It's, it's a lot of things that that we are planning to do, mm-hmm. and that God has given us the the the, the resources to, yeah. and the ability to do, and we're we gonna do it. So we how see por- it. how important is it to buy black? Like how it's, to me, it's very important because you have to be able to circulate the dollar in the community. I feel like the only way to create to break these general generational curses that everybody talk about is not by just sitting around and not doing them, but actually circulating the money within your community. Mm-hmm. So you like you got it, you got to circulate, you got it like and, and not not to speak ill will towards any other community, but to they uplift, do the same thing. yeah, but to uplift and bring our community to a place where it's supposed to it's supposed to be where we Thanks. where where because it's, it's like. You could take any any person of color, any black person especially, and, and ask them um, where they came from. Any kind of struggle, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of nine times out of ten, a lot of them came out came from a struggle. Even if they didn't, how many generations do you got to go back before you see that struggle? That we didn't have a we didn't have a we didn't have a a, a, a start like everybody else. Right. So we in order to create this type of thing, we we are. We have to use our buying power, buying power to empower us. Everybody else. Everybody else. Put people in position. Man, you, put, you pay it forward. You, yep. you know what I'm saying? I, I say it all the time. You want to live life blessed, be a blessing. And, and, and right now, our people, black folks, we need a blessing. So we had one other interview. Was at one of the Out the Muds. And right. uh, we were talking about the first one, I think, was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, was yeah, it might have been the first one. But I had asked you, uh, when did you first meet the baby? And I think he was telling me about how uh, <clears throat> how uh, uh, sporty was getting you back in the day. Yeah. And would let you get in free, but then charge your homeboy and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And then you had to talk sport, to baby. Sport, Adolf, all of them. But like, like, <laughs> well, like, listen, listen, sport, yeah. that's my brother. We yeah. got, the crazy thing is how things turn around for a circle. Like, we, 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 we now own a club together. You know what I'm mm. saying? Encore. You know what I'm saying? Downtown Charlotte. Us with, you know, with Russell Payton and Tyler. Tone, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a dope situation, a genius. It's it's a it's a lot of us. So that and you right. I he was yeah, sport, that sport, story. Sport, <laughs> sport, like like sport of book me, eight <laughs> off of book me, and they knew I'd come a hundred deep. 
Mm-hmm. And they'll say, all right, you got 20 tickets, you got 20 passes. Everybody else got to pay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sh- you make me your money, but I'm thinking like I got a section doing it. I'm on a fly. I'm, I'm doing. My, I'm on a radio doing radio drops. Everything like this is when radio was very important. Like yeah. this is what helped create me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like so, like that was the path I took, and and, and it, it 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 worked. But I created friendships, lifelong friendships with these guys. But then the relationships. Then you were saying when you saw the baby, you was like, make sure they pay you. No, I so so no, I saw so I saw baby in in label. At this time, sport was paying me like a couple of hundred dollars just to post a fly a week. You yeah. know what I'm saying? In, in a bottle in the section when I get there, type of thing. It was cool, but it was just you know what I'm saying. It was, just, it, was it was support. But baby, when I was going out, there, like our artists, they were happy to be able to perform at label. So he was. Label, baby. He, he labels, you know, like, like <laughs> I, nobody can never take away what sport did for the city. You know what I'm saying? That is a fact. <laughs> like, like he, like he put this city that on his mouth. Shout out to sport, brother sport, sporty mm-hmm. Odin. You know what I'm saying? But label was big, and I, and I don't even know if I told sport this though. <laughs> but I took what he, John the baby was like. I asked him. I said, "Hey, bro, how much sport could pay you, or how much it pay you to come out here?" If you don't mind me asking, it was, it was like, man, I ain't, they ain't pay me nothing. This label on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, for real? I said, bro, you got all these people with you? Exactly. I said, bro, he did to me, bro. Hey, hey. <laughs> and, and, and he, he just, he didn't even say nothing. He just looked at me. And it clicked. Then, and, and, and I, you could tell, like, with him, you could tell when something clicked when it makes sense. Mm-hmm. And he ain't did a free show since. Unless it was like radio or something like that. So what was it? It was part of us building our relationship too because that was like a encounter with him before the business. I was about to say what was kinda of like your first impression of him. <clears throat> first impression of when I first met Baby, I met him at my studio with Money on the Mower introduced me to him. Money on the Mo. And he brought him in. And um, you know, we was on some we was on some other shit at the time, but I thought he was you know, I was that nigga at that moment. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm yes. like, like, so like, at, like my 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 fleshly feeling was definitely like, yo, this nigga ain't giving me my 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 respect. He, right. like, like he was, he walked in like, he that nigga. He that nigga yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, so it was it, it was like a, what's good, bro? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, keep it moving, type thing. <laughs> so, but but you know, when, when once we start learning each other and got into it, it was like, okay, this is this is this is. He just the he just him. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. He never gonna change who he is for nobody, for no situation. Was he rapping? Yeah, he was oh, rapping. He had this, he only had that one song out, Baby gotcha. Jesus. And, and the club was going crazy ever. But I was like, damn, this thing get it, cause he was so heavy on content. Thanks. He was putting like before Instagram even had videos that you could put up, he was putting pictures up in real time. He was going to South by Southwest, but I'm like, man, he kept in high quality, good quality. Yeah, yeah Bravo down there. So he's like, I'm like, man, this man. This man doing something different. Is that kind of what made you want to aid him in his quest or get behind him, however you want to word it? Or? So, so it's a, it's like it's, it's it's hard because I wanted I always I always wanted to be behind the scenes just okay. as much as I wanted to be in front, in front of the of scene, in front of the scenes. Actually, really more. It was almost like to, I was using being an artist as a stepping stone to get people to listen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to do more, period, in life. You know what I'm saying? As far as everything. Yeah. And and I thought rapping was, because I, I was like, who I was, like I tell everybody I was raised by, my mama and Tupac music. So like, if if, if that type of, if I, I can be influenced by music that way, it's no telling how many other people can be influenced by music. Thanks. That way, where it changes the way they think or the way they move in life. And, with baby, it was like when 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 I when I he was the first person that I listened to and I can hear it okay. in his voice yeah. that he got it. Mm. And when I say got it, it don't mean the song was that dope and dope crazy. It was like you can hear it. Mm. Like 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 you ever you ever realize when somebody lying to you and you find out they lied to you, you always knew they had lied to you. Yep. <laughs> or somebody telling you the truth and they you know what I'm saying, you like, nah, you know that's true. It's like you can. I, I feel. I feel like I have that type of discernment when it comes to music, mm-hmm. and I can hear things that and, like, and, 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 and feel like God has gave me that gift. Where I'm able to notice other gifts and others, so I can hear the realness and see. 
okay, with this piece and this piece, it could be this. Did you come to him and like, hey, let me manage you? Whatever no, you no. So, so, so he just started so, working so, hand in hand with him. I actually went to a couple of artists first because I only heard one song from him. Mm. And, and then what happened is I, I happened to be in another session where he was doing something with somebody, and that's when I heard it. Because okay. all I heard before that was Baby Jesus. And then once I heard it, I pulled him to the side and was like, hey, I got this other situation with, with, with my partner, Arnold Taylor, um, and we, we, you know, we doing this and doing that. And at the time, he didn't know who Arnold was. He, all he knew was who Craig was. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, he's like, I don't have meetings with Craig, but I'm like, okay, cool, like, this and that. I set up the meeting. We went, we went and um, sent a Sean the first studio. Shout out to my brother first. Shout out Sean You know what I'm saying? We went and Sean the first studio, played music, and it was, it was, it was on after that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, um, how did you how did you meet Arnold? I met Arnold. The first time I met Arnold was trying to get trying to because Arnold is real big in radio promotion. Mm-hmm. So first time I met Arnold was when I had this I had this single on the radio called She Bad, and it's crazy because at the time Power 98 was the only radio station, and and, and, and radio was still big then, mm-hmm. um, and Arnold was the biggest around here in in um radio so I, I got a the red the actual program director from power 98 terry avery and her husband chris set up a meeting with me and Arnold. it was like like the ready the, like power 98 is, is a big key to my what i was doing too because they supported me like all the time no matter what um and it was because of the i, I think it was because of the approach and the grind um mm-hmm. and everything that they did told me to do i did and i met Arnold that way and Arnold. <laughs> And, and and we kept a a a, 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 a friendship. I couldn't afford it at the time. <laughs> well, I mean, South Coast in the beginning was just a marketing company. So South, right? so I right, so South Coast Marketing and South Coast Music Group, it just got the same name, but it's yeah. two totally different who, entities. Who came up with the idea of South Coast start, Music Group to start the label? I did. So so God did. God God God, 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 God put the idea in me, yeah. and, and and what happened was, it's like you, you gotta just follow, like you just gotta follow the path. So it's no coincidence. It's, it's God's time that I'm out of town, and I'm running the Arnold here. I'm out of town there, and I'm running the Arnold there, and we talking, and I'm like, Yo, Arnold, I know who you are. I know what you done did. I know you signed Cash Out. I know you took Gotti over there to Epic. I know you. I know you. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you. You had you was integral in future situation. I know you know. Say I know uh, all the tape resume and all the, like. I, yeah. I know your resume. You a gatekeeper, mm-hmm. and you able to still be in Charlotte and do this. Mm-hmm. We should start a label. Man, I can't start no label, man. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 I ain't got time for that. Call you feel dude. You see, we, we, so eventually I got I convinced him. Got him. Yeah. Got him. To, you know what I'm saying? Bite down yeah. it. And, and, and we and we did we started searching for artists. So the first roster was Black Zach, the Baby, and Milan Hightower. Correct. Correct. Um, just I mean you ain't got to go too in depth, but like so we kind of uh, you kind of talked about your introduction to the Baby, but right. how did y'all choose Black Zach and Milan? So mm-hmm. Black Zach was Craig. Craig is the, is not is not gotcha. head of the uh, the um, South Coast marketing um, in the radio side of mm-hmm. everything. But Craig is from Columbia, South Carolina, mm-hmm. and he was and he and he, and he was just screaming "Black Zach, Black Zach, Black Zach." And then Milan, Milan, Milan is Lamont, Lamont is. I mean, Milan is, <laughs> is, is 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 a is a different type of guy. Yeah, he's a great guy though. Mm-hmm. And what you mean Milan, by different? Different because Milan was before different his time. Style. Like if you like Milan trying to put Milan out right now in 2023. Would go, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Milan in 2000 and 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 18, 19, 17, it was harder. Resources went in there, didn't know, and because his style is so different, eclectic, and and, and and like he embodies music. Milan is dope, he's a superstar. But sometimes what I could do for you and what you need is not, it don't fit. I ain't gonna say he got dropped from the label, but just no. Nah, we, 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 I wouldn't even say he dropped. We, yeah, we, yeah. Had, we came up with a mutual agreement that he can. You know what I'm saying? That we can. Need to move on. That, that, that separate, we can, yeah. So shout out to Milan. Milan is dope. You no, know, Milan didn't get dropped. We made. We had a mutual agreement that it was the best for us to. Try did to it ever 
did the idea ever pop in or the conversation even come up with just circling back around and just being maybe um but I mean I know you had not, not even, at that point but uh yeah me and my, uh, like yeah I, I yeah it, it has and I think about it a lot and I also I I like my lines even more than I like his music I like his business that that mm-hmm. and people used to always tell me that when I was rapping, but no, I didn't get it. Mm. And I had to figure it, but it ain't my, like I said, it ain't my plan, God's plan, figure it out later that Thanks. I am, I am, you know what I'm saying, God has blessed me and good, be, be good with that. I think my line would make, I think my line would make an even bigger executive than he would be an artist. Exactly. In all actuality. You hear that, my line? You might need that. My line, I tell, <laughs> I tell him that. I told him I want him to come over, come over to yeah. and say, help me get, some, get things together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I could tell you more, he still, he still like once you if you got that passion for the create music, it's hard it's hard to tell somebody that because it's almost like telling them they ain't good enough. Mm. But I'm not saying that. I'm saying you're good enough for this, but you're even good better at, mm. at, at this. The man the man is dope. So Milan, if I ain't never gave you a flowers, bro, you watch this, you got your like <laughs> Milan Milan High Tower with GT. I knew I knew you since she was since she was this big, you know what I'm saying? So I, I believe in you still and whatever you want to do, and, you know. And then Tusi came on board. How did y'all scout out Tusi? So Tusi, Tusi, all right, so we had a show in Raleigh. Baby did. Mm-hmm. And it was a chaotic show, some drama happened. But Tusi had opened up. Yeah. I didn't get to see it, but I met Flip. Flip was trying to, Flip was asking me, yo, how much is it to get a feature with Baby? Mm-hmm. At that time, I think it was like five, ten, two thousand. I'm like, who the artist though? He was like Tusi. I'm like, okay. I ain't never like really heard of him. Yeah. I did my research. <laughs> I said, oh, this little, this little nigga, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 okay. I'm like, okay. He throw me in the mind of got you know, boogie. I think, he, I think he was throwing me in the mind of boogie at the time. But I was hearing stuff. I'm like, yo, this nigga, nigga, I. Right. And I remember, um, shout out to Brandon Thomas. He was our A&R at Rock Nation at that time when we was over there. And he was like, yo, um, did you see the guy Tusi perform? And I'm like, nah. He was like, man, I seen some footage. You look crazy. I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, let me go. I'm going to go look. Then I started, then I went down a rabbit hole. Because at first I was like, yeah, you dope. You know, yeah, get, 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 let's get this money. You get paid for this feature. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it made me call, flip back in, at 3 o'clock in the morning after going through a rabbit hole. Not 1 o'clock in the morning after going through a rabbit hole call, flip and say, hey, man, you, you still you still, <laughs> you still manage that guy too? Yeah. Man, let's come to Charlotte tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Can y'all come? And they came. So when you are finding these artists like Black Zack or whoever, what are those conversations like with Arnold? Like, how do y'all go about, at the time, how did y'all go about you know, at, at the time, it's still on. now. We still we, we we just we just go off each other. We play off each other. We just hey, we we'll say say this. What you think about this? What you think about that? Mm, uh, yeah, I like it. Mm, I don't really like. Oh, I believe I, I believe in it. All right, well, I'm gonna sign it. Mm. Okay. All right. So I mean, I I, I, I can't stop him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Same same way on my side. So we, we just we just go because it's like it's all one family. You know what I'm saying? So we just go. So when the baby, uh, 2019, late 2018, early 2019, when you see him picking up motion, like heavy, heavy motion, nationwide motion, what's kind of mentality at the time and feelings at the time like? The, feel, the feelings were. Oh, we got to capitalize. We on couldn't feel it. Okay, okay. We couldn't feel it. We okay. were so in it. We was mm-hmm. working, and we, we, our mentality has always been never let a win go to your head or a loss go to your heart. So. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we was just like, okay, we did this, all right, what's next? Okay, we did this, what's next? We, we, we never took the time to really set. You know, we didn't realize how big we had took this until probably COVID. Or really? took, yeah. When stuff slowed down a little when stuff bit. Slow, when stuff <laughs> kind of slowed down, and not only slowed down, but just like when you, when you, when you, when you really had time to sit, because it was, it was a point in time, we was doing stuff like three shows in no. a day. You know what I'm saying? Like we did, we did, we did a whole May and June. We're doing two to three shows a day. 2019. It was crazy. It was crazy. Bro. It was crazy. No, 
Undeniable. Y'all dominated but that whole year. Number one streaming artist in the world. So, okay. This is the problem I have, though. So, did he win a Grammy for that year? No. Because that, we, 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 our, biggest, our biggest song ever was Rockstar. We didn't win a Grammy that year. Um, Megan won a Grammy. Megan Thee Stallion won a Grammy. Who can deny y'all, though? That it, it, like, it, she, 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 like, she, 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 she was jumping. For she, sure, for she, sure. And she, and she, and she had a lot of uh, like other stuff going on that, you know, made, I think, I think many people, you know, you know, I mean, I, look, I ain't, don't get me in trouble. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, that's, that's my problem, though, because it's definitely, you know, y'all were everywhere, I, I, was everywhere, I, I, the streams was up. Let's understand what got to be said, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, even made his first platinum record, you know where it came from. But also that same year, 2019, you did get a uh, power player of the year. Yeah. Talk about that. Man, that, that was big. I had never, <laughs> I, that was big, because it was, it it was like, I mean, Billboard magazine. Exactly. Like, Billboard. That shit crazy. <laughs> Billboard. Not only am I on Billboard magazine, but the baby is on the cover. That's what I'm you saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like it's, 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 it's like, it's like, from where we come from, it, 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 it ain't even who would have thought. It's like, you want proof that God exists? Mm. Look where we came from. Look what we, like, this is, like, we didn't do this. We just did the work. Mm-hmm. God did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all. That's that's all you can say. For real. <laughs> right. Um, and so you started your own label. Yep. Social currency yep. enterprises. Yep. Social currency enterprises. Why start your own label? I mean, you, why why mm-hmm. start another label? Yeah. Why you already are part of you know South Coast Music Group. Yep. That's exactly okay. Right. So 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 the reason I started is because it was things that. I seen potential in, and I knew that needed a little bit of development. Two years, three years of development before it was it was more ready for the big, you know, the big to bring them to the bring them gotcha, to bring, gotcha, bring gotcha. them to the light. And it was a little bit more like, uh, humbleness and understanding of how this go that some artists have to get, and the work ethic has to be constantly drilled into them over and over and over and over. Some people have already passed that stage Mm -hmm. some people some people aren't so it's like and i also wanted to highlight the fact that it's still artist development getting done which is important and and the fact that every artist on social currency is a potential superstar not just somebody that's going to give you good songs but super so like in order to really hone in on a superstar you have to really be able to develop it if you catch it early because mm-hmm. if not, that star, that star will burn out. Ah, Stunner was with him though on the climb. Both time, big forty one. Was it never a conversation assigning him to South Coast? Yeah, it was always it was always a conversation. But baby, baby, baby had baby had Stunner. So it was it was like it like it's it's crazy because even though it's, it's separate companies, it's just I mean separate. I know it's, it's all the same. It's, it's, it's all, but it's, it's really like it was really just all the same. Gotcha, like, gotcha, gotcha. One big family. So me and Stunner. Like, Stunner went on South Coast Music Group mm-hmm. or Social Currency Enterprise, but I was managing him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was, you know, I was helping him. Like, Stunner is, Stunner is like, that's like my little bro. You know what Shout I'm saying? Out. Even, you know, even, you know, more power to him. He's not with Billion Dollar Baby no more, though. You know what oh, I'm saying? Really? Nah, nah. So, so he, 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 he stepped out doing his own thing. Nah, nothing bad happened. Okay. It just, you know, contra- <laughs> stuff just expired. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and Baby is focused on being him. Right now. So there were a couple of other artists, you know, when Billion Dollar Baby first started that mm-hmm. were on the label, like 704 Chop, for example. What happened, if you know anything? Like, Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to talk about that. Um, and then how you feel about Rich Dunk? I love Rich Dunk. Hardest work. Like hard, hardest work. <laughs> that boy work. You know what I'm saying? That boy work. Mm-hmm. He worked. Rich Dunk is Rich Dunk is good. And, and his mama kind of helped raise me, so. Right, <laughs> 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 like, like. like which I didn't even know was his. I didn't even know till later. Till later, I'm like, oh my god, that's you. I remember when he was little. <laughs> I, like, I didn't even realize that was him. So, um, shout out to the nigga with red jersey. Facts, only nigga in the city. Um, okay, so we got uh, South Coast, right? We got the roster: the baby, Black Zach, Tusi, Cool. We got baby, but hold on, South Coast roster. 
You got the baby. You got Black Jack. You got Tusi. Yeah. You got Big Molly. Well, yeah, of course not. You got, you got Tia Corrine. Tia Corrine. Who's killing it right <laughs> now. We're on fire. You got, you got uh, Dusty Stay True. Mm -hmm. You got Tino Season. Killing it. Just got off tour. Um, and you got D. Young. So, you know, we got a, we got a, uh, we got a squad. If, I, if I'm forgetting somebody, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> right now. But, oh, and, and we got the only artist that's South Coast and Social Currency, Shorty Scott. My question is producers. Yeah. Was there a talk about signing producers when y'all were having, you know, the run? Yes. Or are, are there, yes, yes. you know, because you had 20, Sean, Jetson. Man, tw I know 20. <laughs> what? Man, I don't, I, 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 listen, 20 is family. Okay. And always going to be family. Sean the first, family, and always going to be family. Sean the first was my fault that I don't manage Sean the first because my slow movement. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My my like like that that's my fault. But we still that's like that's my that's my that's family. family. Twenty, same thing. It, <laughs> I, I don't know. Twenty is twenty fault. So twenty, you see this, I don't care, I don't care what you I love you. That was your fault. He chose to go a different path when when I, I definitely feel like the path that 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 he could have took could have been better. But who knows? He maybe had to learn some lessons that have come, you know what I'm saying, for us to do what we need to, to do now. But um, Throughout your music journey, have you ever gone broke in the process? And... I was broke the whole time. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, and and we have a follow-up to that one. <laughs> hey, it ain't because it ain't done for nothing that you can't, you can't, you ain't supposed to be spending on. Okay. So it's, 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 like, it's like, like, even with money, even when you get money in, it's Going right back out. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you believe in something, you're going to spend on it. I'm going to spend on it. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to spend on what I believe on. If you believe in it, I'm going to spend it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what God, that's only reason I got. Only reason God, it ain't my money, is God's money. If he tell me to spend it to make this, so I can help make this situation better for this person, and, and, then, and then in return, be able to glorify him and, 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 and still be able to take care of my family, man, bro. Oh, yeah. That's that's the that's the key. You know what I'm saying? You you judge I judge success by how many other people you can help make, make become successful. successful. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter about what I got, what I, like like I'm just that alone. Yeah. If that's the case, nah. You know what I'm saying? If you if, 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 I, I like it's like this tripod that this camera is holding up, bro. Yeah, the the one, like like we gotta be crutches. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be the legs. We gotta like you gotta have somebody that got somebody because we gotta hold each other up. Like I believe in community, bro. So nah. Social currency. SE the shit. Go tell the free. Original roster. Uh huh. <laughs> Zen and Goat. <laughs> Tiana <laughs> Goes. <laughs> um, um, Little John 4K. Mm -hmm. And Young Sunny Boy. Yeah. What happened to Young Sunny Boy? I don't know what happened to Young Sunny Boy. What's what crazy? Young Sunny Boy. Young Sunny Young Sun Boy. He's not with a label no more. Yeah, nah, young sonny boy. I wish young sonny boy the most success in the world. I hope he, I hope he, I hope he wins. Very talent, very, very, very talented artist. It's, it's the same situation though. Like with uh, sometimes just I'm not. I don't think we was the right fit for each other. Mm. But nah, sonny boy, sonny boy, you know more power to him. You know, I, I don't got I don't got nothing to ill say about no, nobody. For sure. I ain't got no ill will against him or nothing. So I know he probably think I do, but I don't. I don't got no ill will against Sonny. You know what I'm saying? I I I I put you in my prayers, brother. But then we got Hot Boy Shaq. What's the about, hottest? <laughs> what's the all about Hot Boy Shaq to you know make him Hot Boy to Shaq invite him and join the family? Hot Boy Hot Boy Shaq is still his family too. You know what I'm mm, saying? Yeah, he been like, around doing like, his thing. Like, he, been, he been around doing his thing, but if you from Charlotte. You know, why side Shaq? You feel me? If you if you're in Charlotte, you know he's that 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 guy in Charlotte that everybody loves. For sure. And so I said, man, let me let me see how I can jump on, enhance this, and make it make you the guy in the world that everybody loves versus just the city. And I know you're on your boss shit. Uh, have you ever thought about going to work? With or for like a, a major? Yes, <clears throat> yes. I always think about it because I, I learned I went to a school of hard knocks and this shit. So, like, I always wanted to go and get that 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 type of training. So I think about it all the time. I, I, I actually talked to a couple of labels. I 
I haven't took any um took any positions yet. But yeah, now nah, I actually I, I would love to go turn. I would love to go. I would love to go take a label that ain't jumping mm. and turn them up. All right. So what we're about to do now is I'm gonna say a word, and I want you to tell me the first thing that comes to mind when you hear that word. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, first word is money. Unimportant. Family. Most important. South Coast. Family. Charlotte. Home. Social currency. The best. The internet. Stupid. <laughs> um, the future. Mines. The baby. The greatest. Is that a goat? The greatest. Up next. Social currency. <laughs> South Coast. Both. <laughs> Slash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then next, I just want you to finish the sentence. Okay? okay. So I'm going to say a sentence and you just finish it. All right. <clears throat> Without Carter, there would be no. <laughs> <laughs> Without, with, with... Without Carter, there would be no. I got I to gotta edit the sentence. Without God, using, without God using Carter. Okay, okay, okay. Without God using Carter. Without God would, using Carter, there would be no. There would be no. I can go down a list. <laughs> I can go down a list. Like, dead ass without, and go all the way back. It would be, CIAA wouldn't be as big as it is. Mm. Um, I facilitated that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, a lot of would. The biggest rapper in the world at one time wouldn't be for wouldn't be for Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't say that because I don't want to take credit for for his work, but I can say I was integral and in, he'll say it too. A key, part. A, a key part in that. So without so without you know, Carter, I'm part of it for sure. Um, without without Carter, it would be it wouldn't be no. Greatest rapper that you of all times that you're about to see out of Zeta Goat. Mm. What's Zeta, up? Zeta Goat is Zeta Goat has been in training his whole life. He's born. He's okay. born to sense. do this, mm -hmm. and he's like when the world finally see it, he's going to be. He's going to be everybody's favorite rapper. He's not a. He's not a. He's not a. He's, he's not a. I'm just gonna make a good song. He's. He's a Jevity artist. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you a question about that. So him being your son, does he feel like he has to, you know, work extra harder or, you he, know, because... He, he don't, it ain't even a feeling. He knows. He knows. He knows because anything that happens, good, or people still say it happened because of your dad. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, like, he, like, first thing, like, I remember when he won the stunt a competition. Like, no, this was all off of votes and yeah. stuff like he didn't get it because he was like, right, yeah, because he was when, when, when he went on tour with Tusi. Tusi called him, like, mm. come on tour. You know what I'm saying? When it, baby, when he went on, he just got, got off to a baby last month. It, it was, you know what I'm saying? John, it was baby calling him, like, yeah, come on. You know what I'm saying? Jump on, jump on the rest of the stool with me. So, like, it's, it's, he got to work that, he got to work that hard. And I've been drilling that in him. That's good. And he is working harder than I ever imagined right now. Oh! <laughs>